video i'm going to show you how you can create a local git repository on your local machine how you can create a, a code repository on code commit in aws how you can authenticate to the code commit repository and how you can push changes so let's start it to start it you must log into your aws account and once you're logged in just search for code commit once you under code commit click on repositories and here you will see an option called create repository click on that now name your repository i'm going to name it striking impact uh, i'm going to say learning you can put description that's optional you can have tags or you can enable it for code query reviewer for java and python this option as well i'm going to skip that click on create now here you can have connection types now we can use https ssh or https grc in this video we're going to cover ssh now to work with ssh you must already have an ssh key pair um, so basically you will need to go to your command prompt window and you have to generate a key pair before you can proceed further once you have the key pair you will have a public and a private key what you need to do is you will need to go to your IAM, search for IAM, open IAM window, go to users. Now you select the user account you want to use to commit changes. For example, I already have an account called Tanvi. Click on your account. And if you go to security credentials, you will see there's a there's an option called uh, this area called SSH key ID. Now this is the area where you can put your SSH key. Now make sure you only put the public key. Never upload a private key. The private key should remain with your local machine. No one should have access to it. So you can see I've already uploaded a public key here. So you don't need to. Um, so I'm, I'm not gonna do it again but to upload a public key just click on upload ssh key and just simply paste your public key here and click on upload key so once you have you once you have uploaded your public key you can use your private key to create uh, to authenticate to code commit now to proceed further you will need to have a config file under your dot ssh folder to get to a folder simply search for user profile now user profile will take you to profile which you use to create the ssh key pair here you will see a file a folder called .ssh if you can't see it um, there should be an option saying show hidden items click on ssh you can see i already have a lot of keys here now a lot of them are public a lot of them are private so the PEM are the private ones, the dot PUB are the public ones. You will see there's a key here, um, striking impact. Now that's the private key. And then we have dot PUB, that's the public key. Now how do, how will AWS know whenever you, how will uh, your kit know which key to use to authenticate to AWS code commit? This is where you need to have an config file to create a config file, you simply just um, create a new file here. You can just create a text file and you can change the name later. I'm not going to create config again, but make sure it doesn't have any extension. It should be config without any extension. I'm not going to create it, so I'm going to show you the one which I already have. So if you click on open wait, click on notepad. So you see here, we're using these three lines here host git hyphen code commit dot star aw amazon aws.com and the user we're going to use the ssh uh, key id here and then we're going to give the part to that ssh key id so ssh key now this path is for the private key so to get the uh, user id once you upload your ssh key to aws you will see there's a uh, there's a column called ssh key id and here you will see your key id so simply copy that 
and put it to your notepad here so i will put i will put this uh, in the description so you can just simply copy it and all you need to do is change the key id and you will need to change the the private key location now in this scenario we don't actually need to create a local git repository because we can simply clone the code commit so once we clone a code code commit it will automatically initialize a local git repository to clone it what you can do is open a command prop in administrator mode now we can make a new folder called let's let's say it uh, striking impact uh, learning and we can log into that so once you're in this folder what you need to do is you will need to use this command to clone the repository you can also find it into your AWS account if you go to code commit and if you come into come to the S section go to windows you will see there is a there is a pre-built command line you can simply use that click on copy and just paste it here copy it again just paste it here press enter so it's going to use your private key to authenticate and the reason the since you have already uploaded your public key the aws will be like oh i know this guy so he can access he or she can access the code commit repository it's going to ask you whether you want to use this uh, whether you trust this fingerprint which we're using click on yes so let me enter the password now you see we have a p we, we have cloned an empty repository now if we list the directories here if we go to the directory let's go to the directory from gy see now i've been to the directory um striking impact learning and uh, come to striking impact learning you will see the dot git folder is there it's hidden if we don't enable this uh, hidden item uh, option it will you can't see it so make sure you are uh, you have selected to show hidden items so we have this git folder and this is basically a local git uh, files which been basically this this you can say this is the local git repo we're using here now if you want to push any changes what you can do is simply uh let's let's open uh visual studio you can open any um studio of your but any editor of your choice let's go to the directory and select this folder now we have nothing here so we're going to say new file let's put it like index.html and we're going to put something like let's put like um, version 1 file and let's save it if you go to the command line make sure you're on the, on the right folder if you type git status it will show you we have a new file which is untracked so to, to push the changes first you have to commit the changes on your local git before you can push them so the flow is git add now you can add that particular file but imagine you have like hundreds of files so simply say git add dot and if you check git status again now we added the new file now we're going to commit to file so say git commit and we're going to put message called v1 now it's it has committed the changes if we say git status again now we have now that we have committed a file what we can do is we can push the changes to push the changes we can say git push 
and you can say SSH because we're using SSH protocol and now here you're gonna put the URL of your code commit uh, repo so what we can you can find this from here and simply paste it here once you press enter it's gonna for example my key is password protected so I'm gonna enter the passphrase again Now you can see we have pushed the changes from our local master branch to um, to the remote master branch. So when we push the changes, we actually created a master branch on the remote code commit repo. If you go to code again, you will see we have the file called index.html and it's on the master branch. So thanks guys for watching this video. This is how you create a local git repo. This is how you create a AWS code commit repository and authenticate using ssh protocol if you have any questions please put it in the comments this is my first video on the channel so i know it's very clunky so please bear with that thank you bye